Hi guys and welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry and today we're looking at a smartwatch. It's my first time I'm dipping my toe in here, okay? A Pebble smartwatch. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know that this thing is not brand new. It was given to me. It was given to me by a friend of mine. Thanks, Theo. Now, what's going to happen in this video is I'm going to unwrap it. You'll see that it was it's already been opened, obviously. We're going to have a quick look at the, at the actual watch itself. And then what's going to happen is... I'm gonna pause this or stop this, and I'm gonna wear the watch for a few days, see how it all works, figure it all out, see how good it is, and then I'm gonna edit the video together. So for you, it's gonna be all in this one video as you're watching now, and you're, I'll be able to walk you through a lot of the settings because I've got no idea at this point, and also give you my feedback on what I think about this. Now, you can still buy these online. You'd probably be able to get a newer model I'm a bit funny about the whole idea on charging things, so, <laughs> but as you can see here, it says it lasts up to seven days, battery life, it is water resistant, uh, up to 50 minutes, which is great uh, and readable during the daylight. My mate reckons the greatest thing about this thing is the notifications, so let's, you know, he reckons you never need to take your phone out of your pocket just to see if someone's sent you a text message or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> find out. Uh, some of the details of it. This is the box that it comes in. Now, as you can see, it's probably beat up a little, but hey, thanks anyway, and um, I really do appreciate uh, having that. Now, this is what you do get in the box. It's pretty much giving me everything that I've come with. So, as you can see here, you just get a bit of paperwork. I'll be honest, the paperwork, I've already opened it up, and it doesn't tell you anything about how to use the phone. Uh, sorry, how to use the watch. <laughs> Good one. Um, but here's the interesting thing. It is quite intuitive, apparently, that you pretty much just sort of, it's not a touch screen or anything like that. And um, it works by just, you know, pressing the buttons really on the side. But it, it almost feels like a touch screen, apparently. Let's sort of undo it here. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Let's get it out. In a moment, come on, that you get. There we go. Gotta remember to look behind the camera. Standard USB. This is the charging port for it. It's magnetic, so it just sort of, I, I'm assuming it is. Yeah, it is. So it just sort of sticks on there. Uh, this is all twirled up, so that's how it charges. Uh, rubber, really soft rubber, quite nice. These are the buttons. And on the side here, we'll just turn it on i think there we go it says pebble and you fire it up and there it is now have a look at this apparently it's quite see look at that it's pretty simple like you know watch faces alarms the really cool thing about this is that i'll be able to use it uh, as an alarm at night vibrating to wake me and i don't need to put a loud alarm to wake everyone else up the other cool thing is I will try it out with my iPhone 6 Plus and see how it works regarding notifications and things like that. Anyway, look, we will cut back. I will let you know how this went. I'll try this out. I mean, uh, my mate said once you go back, uh, once you once you go smartwatch, you just can't go back to a plain watch. So let's find out. Let's see. All right, guys, I'll be back in, well, for you, very quick. For me, a few days. Hi guys and welcome back. Now it's actually been three weeks or two weeks, give or take. It's been a while I've had this so, and I've had plenty of time to trial this out. It is fantastic. Look, the charging is what it is, uh, but it is so awesome this watch. First things first, I'll run through the features of this because I've played around with it and now I know how to use it. Basically, if you hold this down, quiet time started. If it isn't quiet time, it won't. Uh, buzz and annoy you Especially at night time if you get notifications through your phone now. Here's a cool thing You can set up hot keys. So I have them here if I press these there's no notifications at the moment I usually clear them as they come in this should go straight into well. Let's go back out This should go straight into settings and that lets me then make sure this is to connect your Bluetooth Notifications lets you view them through there not that you need to because you can set a uh, sort of hotkey like I just showed you up top there. Quiet time, you could set it through here instead of pressing and holding through on the other side here on the on this button which I just showed. And also background apps, let you know what kind of background apps are running. This is awesome. This is an app that 
let it will basically tracks my sleep lets me know when I'm in deep sleep or not and I have been using it and very cool or you could turn it off so you can have none uh, quick launch now this is the one where you can add up here or at the bottom here like a hotkey really and as you can see I have got that set up notifications up the top and at the bottom where it says settings now date and time pretty much you can go in and set up what date and time we'll just go into that so you can see nothing too crazy there pretty simple it's quite a simple watch very intuitive to use even though it's not a touch screen just the way it works is there was no manual on how to use it and it's just, it was very easy to do display now it lets you set your language the backlight how long you want it to turn on now sorry backlight on or off not how long sorry about that but it does have that option we'll get to it and further down motion enabled it's where you shake it really quick and if you shake your wrist it turns on the light ambient sensor on so depending on whether it's very bright or dark intensity medium that's how bright the screen should be on or off timeout means when the screen turns on how quick you want the power to turn off so mine goes for five seconds if you go in and you set it you can set it for up to eight or minimum three doesn't do any more than that so that's pretty much just the display now the system standby mode I've got that off I don't want to go into standby mode shut down as if you want to shut the phone down and you've also got factory reset in case things go haywire and you need to do that now these are just the apps that I'm running this is called rest I use it when I'm at the gym so basically I do a workout and then I press this it does a countdown for me where I have a 30 second rest interval or a little bit more now the really cool thing about this is once it gets down it actually gives me a vibrating notification so between my sets I don't have to sit there watching the clock counting down the time I can just rest focus on my next set with with my weightlifting and maybe even going to a slight meditative state just to recharge my energy now I don't know if it'll make a noise that was a vibration there so that's why I let it count down so yeah really great feature there's a lot of them timer I also use this I set pre timers so when I do meditation I set 30 minutes of meditation still meditation sitting meditation fantastic for that or if I go on lunch at work my one hour lunch break and so forth I set it on there alarms really great set the alarms to wake me up in the morning and multi timer this is a new one I put on I haven't tried it out apparently it lets you set multiple times and uh, so if you're doing a hit workout if you don't know what that is just look it up on Google watch faces really cool simplicity pack attack check this out it's gonna load them because I uh, updated the firmware on this and it does that if you update the firmware so that's that's a pretty cool one it's a pac-man he basically eats his way around um, there's different ones I mean we could spend hours going through all that so I won't I'll just jump back out leave that in there and we'll go a bit further down notifications there's no notifications you can check them directly with this watch through the settings here music I haven't really tried this out start playback on your phone so I'm assuming you go into the phone and you can if I press here I'm assuming yeah it'll play it I won't play it because we've also got YouTube issues with music there's copyright stuff that goes on it's madness um, this lets you skip well actually there's only one track here so I'm assuming that that would let you skip also the tracks play and pause and all that kind of cool stuff that it would do Misfit oh, this is pretty cool it will tell you how you slept so this is sort of my sleeping patterns up and down I haven't slept yet that's why it's saying zero but the top numbers here would tell you how many hours you've slept uh, my goal is to get eight hours and deep sleep it says how many hours you're using in deep sleep so I would get say seven hours sleep it would say up here and then it might say three hours of that was in deep sleep meaning I wasn't moving at all how accurate this is I really don't know but you know I, I can generally tell when I've had three hours of deep, deep sleep and I wake up I'm feeling pretty good sometimes I wake up feeling really crappy even though I've slept seven hours and it says to me that I was still for probably an hour and a half or an hour and 20 minutes and I feel crappy throughout the whole day so for me it's been you know I think it's pretty accurate all right so that's pretty much it we'll go back out and this is the really cool part that I, I want to show you guys and girls the pebble time app and then we'll just go into the app the pebble app here on the iPhone and what you can see here what it's loaded is the watch face apps okay now 
I've got some preloaded ones here already and what it lets you do is it, it stores them here depending on which ones you want so for for example if I tap on this it'll bring up an option some have settings some don't set watch face as active where it says here and as you can see it updates it right away here and as you can see pack attack pretty cool and if you want to change that you can just go back in here set as active watch face and again it will do that as well and it changes pretty quick now if you I've updated the firmware so there's some here that when you do it for the first time so I'll give you an example this one here you'll see that it does a little load that's only once you've updated the firmware the first time uh, it may do that but once it's been done when you go in and out it shouldn't give you any trouble now also there is an option which has settings I'll go in here just to give you an example some have more some have less but this one here it lets you gives you the option if you want to turn on GPS where it gets the weather I didn't I just put in the location Melbourne Australia Celsius or Fahrenheit obviously Celsius for us here and you can set or invert colors so that's just one thing there's different options for different apps obviously so this is my favorite one so I use you generally use this there is some pretty cool ones down the bottom here you've got analog this is a quite an elegant nice one if you're sort of going out to dinner and you want to have a sort of more plain sort of look it's up to you you know I mean really at the end of the day if you want to get more apps get watch face is pretty cool uh, I have spent hours and I mean like probably three hours one night going through and downloading all of these they're free uh, and updating <laughs> I'm putting them on my phone deleting taking them off it's addictive it's fantastic and it's a, such an awesome community. People contribute and create some awesome watch faces. Pebble, it's pretty good what Pebble's done. Uh, we could spend hours going through this, and I won't. Going back out, we'll have a look at the apps. These are all the current apps that are on my watch at the moment, okay? So if I want to move these around, I can, and that actually moves them according to the watch as well, because that's how they are in that series, in that row, in that actual layout. Uh, and you can adjust them from here and it updates it on the phone if you want to get more apps same deal go up to the top hit more apps and it'll load up the app store in here there's also games and some of them let you use it as a remote depending on what you want to do health and fitness yada yada again i could go on forever in here there's so many apps and it's very cool um, notifications again it'll let you set up this is really cool i get some great notifications from certain apps on the phone, which I love, uh, and it's, it's the best, like especially with messages, it's really good. If I get a message, I can pretty much read through the message and then dismiss it without even having to touch my phone. The other thing is though, if you've got the newer version of this, it also lets you, if you have an Android, a phone only, you can press and you can speak and it will make it text or talk to text and you can reply back even without even touching your phone iPhone doesn't work for some reason uh, it hasn't been allowed so you know you need to get an iWatch to do that come on Apple please release it it'll be really cool but then again it doesn't work on this particular watch that I have so <laughs> only for the newer ones either way guys I hope you really like the review I hope it's given you all the information you need if you don't have all the information or if you've got other questions post them in the comment section I'll find out, I'll get back to you. If you know something I don't know, please share because well, I'd love to know and anyone else who comes to the channel, you know, they'll get that info as well. If you love the video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't. Sorry, I did my best. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll be throwing up some more cool videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I'm in a rush. Battery's about to run low. <laughs> Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.